Apex Media is at Apex Asia in Shanghai, and I'm joined now by Jamie Batista, who is the president and COO of Philippine Airlines. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for inviting us, Marianne. Yeah. You're very welcome. So, what brings you to Apex Asia? Well, we were invited by uh, Joe Lider uh, when we attended the event in Boston last year, and we thought that uh, it's uh, a good venue to share our experience and learn from the other presenters here in uh, Shanghai. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a great uh, couple of days so far. So, Jamie, obviously, your airline has been on a path to improvement, rapid improvement lately. And and for you, I think service culture is a very important part of that. Can you tell me about your approach to people and service culture? Well, uh, in 2016, we embarked on a program to make Philippine Airlines a five-star carrier. And we thought that uh, for us to be able to do that, uh, we really need to improve service. No? Because uh, our mission really is to provide uh, a safe and uh, comfortable service to our passengers. And uh, we thought that uh, we should really uh, concentrate and focus on how we can uh, make our passengers happy on board the airplanes. No? So uh, we embarked on a program to uh, make Philippine Airlines a five-star carrier. And uh, we work with uh, all our uh, different uh, departments with uh, customer contacts. And uh, we see to it that uh, our practices are uh, in at sync with uh, the best practices in the industry. Okay, and in particular, in your presentation, you pointed to a few highly publicized events of your cabin crew going above and beyond for passengers. For example, um, a cabin crew member who actually breastfed another uh, mother's child on board when the child was hungry and she had nothing to give it. So how does it, how does it make you feel when you read these things in the newspaper? Well, uh, I'm uh, very happy and uh, very impressed uh, with that uh, action of our cabin crew who fed, who breastfed uh, a hungry baby mm -hmm. no? when uh, the mother has no milk uh, on that trip. No? And I'm very happy that uh, it went viral. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, it really uh, attracted. Uh, the attention of many passengers and I thought that uh, it's really a uh, uh, a marketing uh, effort that uh, really uh, really resulted to passengers uh, more passengers flying Philippine Airlines so. yeah great it's excellent news okay I'm um, switching topics now to IT I know that you are going to be implementing some new booking systems you'll, you'll be switching your IT systems can you tell us a little bit about that decision and how you uh, plan to implement it without causing any disruptions? Uh, we're moving to a new passenger service system called uh, Al Amadeus Alpea. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a system which is used by uh, the major carriers in uh, Asia, most of them uh, five-star carriers. No? And we thought that uh, it's about time that our passengers also uh, experience uh, good uh, booking uh, up to the time they get uh, their baggages from the carousel. No? So uh, last year we embarked on this program and it took us uh, almost uh, 13 months to implement this project. We worked closely with uh, our IT people, with the previous uh, provider of our system and the uh, Amadeus team. And uh, we had had uh, many rehearsals and we are quite confident that uh, Come uh, March 23 to March 24, we will have a new system, which uh, we think uh, will uh, really result to more uh, better passenger experience. Absolutely, I'm sure it will. Well, good luck with that. Um, you've recently had some investment from uh, ANA Holdings. Can you talk a little bit about how that is going to help you on your journey to become a five-star airline? Uh, our existing arrangement with uh, ANA is that we will continue to have our existing uh, co-share agreement. We will have to continue our uh, mileage program uh, partnership mm -hmm. and uh, we will uh, discuss possible areas of uh, collaboration, uh, how we can uh, adapt to uh, best industry practices as far as uh, passenger experience is concerned and uh, we're hoping that uh, with this uh, it will benefit not only their passengers uh, also our passengers and uh, also both companies in terms of uh, 
creating uh, more connectivity among our passengers. So. Okay, and then finally, Joe Leader announced today that you'll be appointed to the Apex Board of Governors beginning in September at the Apex Expo in Boston. Um, you know, why have you agreed uh, to do this, and what do you hope will come out of it? Well, uh, it's an honor for us to be a member of uh, the group. And uh, we know that uh, by uh, joining uh, this group, uh, we'll learn a lot about uh, how we can further improve passenger experience. And we can, we can also share our experiences uh, with the other members of the group so that uh, they can also learn from uh, what we have implemented in the last few years. Good. Well, we're all looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you too, Marianne. Yeah.